Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a heart ice dye. Using a washable marker, mark out where the center of your shirt is, and then use those marks to isolate out the front of the shirt. And what I mean is, we're just going to put the heart only on the front of the shirt, not on the back of the shirt also. So, up towards the top of the screen, that is the back of the shirt. We're only putting the heart on the front of the shirt. Again, using my washable marker, I'm going to trace out my stencil. Now fold along that line that we just created, and you want to keep that line as straight as possible. Sometimes I start at the bottom of the heart, sometimes I start at the top. I don't really think there's any rhyme or reason. Just do what works best for you. Now that we have that line nice and straight, it's time to secure it. And we're going to use sinew. The reason for the sinew is because it's going to create that white line which gives definition around the heart. I wrap it two or three, four times and then I pull it really tight to anchor it in. Then I wrap it several more times, pulling it even tighter. So tight that my knuckles turn white. And then if you want a nice thick line, wrap it as thick as you want. The more sinew you have, like the wider the line, the whiter, whiter, whiter the line will be. Gosh, okay, well, you know what I'm trying to say, right? The thicker the sinew line, the wider the white line will look. For the rest of the shirt, we're just going to do a simple scrunch. Once you have it all scrunched up, it's time to get out those fabulous rubber bands. I have a link for the rubber bands down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye. Go ahead and go check it out. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. I'm going to put a little bit of bubble gum at the very tip of the heart. I want to try to create sort of a glowing effect.
Put on your mask and sprinkle a little bit of soda ash for good measure. Now add a layer of ice. These little foil pans leak, so put it inside of a plastic tote. After the ice melts, I came back and I checked the back. It needed more dye. There just wasn't enough saturation. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing that I did on the top side, on the back side. It's been 24 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You want to start by using cold water to rinse out any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers. Then you want to gradually increase your water to hot and rinse until the water runs clear. From here I'm going to take it to the washing machine and I'm going to do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma. I'm going to do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft, which I also get from Dharma, and that brings softness back into the fibers of the shirt after the dyeing process. I'm going to put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see our results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out really cute. So using that bubble gum at the very tip of the shirt at the center of the heart, it did create that glowing effect. So I'm really happy about that. And making that thicker sinew line created this nice white definition. The glacier blue and the orchid look really pretty together. The bubble gum pink mm, kind of got swallowed up in the shirt but that's okay. The overall look is really fabulous. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.